Hey guys, what I've got here is something pretty cool. This is a 1970s Super Wind Machine 20 inch floor fan. Now this was made by Lasco and I'm actually not too sure if this Super version was named the Wind Machine. I know the Lasco's own branded fan was called the Wind Machine but this is a rebranded one for the Canadian market. So I'm not too sure if this fan would have sold with the Wind Machine name on the package but because this is kind of a well-recognized fan, I'll just call it a wind machine. Uh, it's from, oh, did I, did I say the 70s? I think I might have. This is actually a 1980s fan. Yeah, I think I said the 70s. No, this is a 1980s super wind machine. Uh, it features the exact same blade set and motor that they used in their 20-inch box fans. And uh, I think they just kind of put the, the heart of a box fan inside of this plastic casing to make it a pivoting floor fan which is more versatile in a few ways. Let me just zoom out a little bit here. Now this is the before restoration condition. I have not done anything to it. I got this fan sometime last year and uh, it, it needs to be cleaned. <laughs> you can tell even right away that there's like gunk all over the fan and the motor is packed um, to the brim. So it needs quite a bit of work. Uh, I think the motor also needs some attention. Um, not really um, repair-wise, but just general maintenance. So yeah, it's a pretty cool fan. Let's take a closer look at it. All right, so this fan is pretty much all plastic. <laughs> Even more plastic than their box fans. So on the front, we have the super badge here. There's a paint run kind of smeared on there. I'm gonna have to try to very carefully take this off. I might be able to take care of that with a razor blade and some WD-40. We'll see. Maybe I have some isopropyl alcohol. So there's some dust in the crevices. Looks like there's like some sheetrock dust on the fan too. So this must have been used for some uh, DIY home improvement applications. <laughs> there's even a chunk of, I don't know what this is, like plaster maybe. So lots of dust on this fan. I'll need to get all cleaned out on the blades too, you can see there. So not a clean fan by any means, lots of hair too. Some dust on the blades, or not on the blades, the base. Oh, <laughs> there's a blade of grass there, that's funny. Oh, two of them. Or actually, is that is that a blade of grass? It looks like that could be like a needle off of an artificial Christmas tree, I'm not too sure. Lots and lots of dust in here. So it really does need to be cleaned. Now the blades are pretty cool on this one. It has one of those, um, you can see through the vents there. It's a single slot cutout hub blade set. Kind of difficult to see. Let me see if I can get a better angle for that. Okay, I think you can kind of see it through the vents there. It's got a single slot cut out, but the rest are just kind of embossed and not cut out. You can see there. It's a pretty neat looking blade set. It's actually my first uh, Lasco fan with this blade set, so that's pretty cool. All the other ones I have either have the wagon wheel hub or the the newer just like a cone shaped hub. So that's pretty cool to see. Cords up here, very dirty. Now there's one spot on the cord, not sure if I can find it now, but it looks like some kind of a rodent chewed on it. So the copper's exposed. So I'm gonna have to try to repair that or if it's not really repairable, I'll just kind of uh, wire up a new one. The pivots for the stand on both sides. A little yellowed and the rubber's cracking, but I may be able to revive that. We'll have to see. Okay, let's take a look at the back of the fan. Okay, so here's the back of the fan, and I just noticed that the rear half of the fan is exactly the same same molding as the front. Um, the only difference being that the rear side has the motor, whereas the front, even though it has the screw holes right there, for the motor, they just simply don't use it and they just put the sticker on the front to make it the front of the fan. So 
This fan, you can really tell that it was meant to be kind of economical, at least on the manufacturing side. And take a look at this. <laughs> I thought this was hilarious. <laughs> they have fake molded screws. And this is not a real screw. This is a molded screw that goes in. Well, no, it doesn't go. It's just molded there and it accepts the screw from this side. So that way, on the other side, it's mirrored. So you have a real screw here and a fake molded screw on the back. <laughs> so I thought that was hilarious. And the whole fan, like the whole molding is designed in a way that it can accept the screw going one way and the other screw will come in the other way, so... I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it's just kind of a smart way to manufacture a fan economically, but... I don't know, just seeing something like this, that's kind of hilarious. Uh, let's see, so lots of dust here on the back also. <laughs> and take a look at the motor, it is jam-packed with dust. Um, you can kind of see in there lots and lots of dust. It's kind of difficult to see the windings too because of that. Lots of dust in there. This is a three-speed fan. The switch is a little yellowed. Not too big of a deal. More grass or tree needles. Yeah, it's really, really dirty. Oh, look at that. So not the worst I've seen, but the main concern is uh, trying to blow all this dust out without making a mess. I'll probably just go outside and do it. Now, is there a sticker? Yes, there is. So, I cannot read sideways, so you guys just can pause the screen and read it. Uh, this is a model, let me see if I can pull this off. 4521, I think that's the model number. So no indication of this actually being called the wind machine, but we'll just call it that. So anyways, let's give it a test. Hopefully it doesn't spew dust all over the room. All right, so I've got the camera really far away from the fan, kind of zoomed in just to prevent the camera from getting smothered with dust. So, well, here it goes. This might be a bad decision to get the fan running with all that dust in there, but, well, we gotta do it for the video. Alright, so here it is. We'll just go, we'll start off safe. We'll go low this time. It's got a little bit of a startup sound. So it does run, uh, it seems a little slow. Um, this might be because the oil and the bearings are slightly gummy. Or maybe this is the original low speed, not too sure. We'll only find out when I oil the, oil the motor. It's quiet, I like it. If this is the actual low speed, then it'll be a really pleasant fan to use. All right, we'll turn it up to medium. Hopefully it won't really uh, blow more dust out of the fan. So a pretty noticeable step up from low. It's got a pretty good shape to it. <laughs> Usually these Lasco made fans tend to have either warped blades or blades that are just um, defectively molded from the factory. This is not too bad actually. I think the plastic enclosure and the stand kind of exaggerates the vibration, but when I put my hand on it, it's really not that bad. Alright, let's go to full power. This might be the worst mistake to do it in this room, but here it is. I don't know if that caught when I was on camera, but just let out a huge plume of dust. <laughs> so it's moving quite a bit of air despite all of the dust. It's uh, shaking quite, quite severely. 
Yeah, I mean, he seems to be performing just fine. Um, maybe the oil's not gummed up. Alright, well, tons of power. Bearings don't seem too bad. Hmm, that's actually pretty good. Well, there it is, guys. That is the really cool super wind machine floor fan. Uh, we'll eventually get this thing cleaned up. I think it'll be... It should be pretty easy to clean because it's mostly made of plastic, so I'll just kind of rinse it with some degreaser and water, and it should be pretty easy to um, just wash everything at once. And the motor is the same plastic motor as the ones I've seen on all the 80s Wasco box fans. So I'm very well familiar with that. So eventually we'll make a video on the cleanup and we'll be back for the full video once it's all cleaned up. Hopefully soon. I'm not sure if I'll get to it this year. Pretty busy with work and all that, but someday. <laughs> I know I say that a lot, but eventually we'll, we'll be back with this video, with this fan. Alright guys, that's going to be for this one, so thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.